Hmm. Yeah, right. Heaven is not for good people. Heaven is not for good people. You're probably thinking I'm crazy for saying that, but just give me a few minutes and I'm going to explain why I said so. You know, so many people think that because they are good, they are going to heaven. Some people say, um, I don't do bad things. I'm a nice person. I'm a good person. So therefore, you know, they're sure that when they die, they're going to have a better afterlife. But <laughs> it takes more than being a good person to have a good afterlife. If you have to spend it with the Lord Jesus Christ, it, it would take more than being a good person. Because if heaven was for good people, I will tell you about Cornelius in the Bible, in the book of Acts chapter 10. Cornelius was a good man. He was so good that heaven recognized him, even in the state at which he was. When he did not yet have that vital thing that would take you to heaven. He didn't have it yet. But he was so good in such a way that heaven recognized him. He prayed three times a day faithfully. Something that most believers and Christians don't even do. Okay? And he he, 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 he even built churches. He fasted with his family, prayed and everything. But he needed something more before he could make heaven. And then God had to send an angel to him to give him directions on how to get that thing. So it takes more than being a good person. You know what the Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 64 verse 6? That your own righteousness, your own good deeds by yourself is like a filthy rag before God. Okay? So that is why I'm saying, Anna, heaven is not for good people. Okay? Heaven is for the people that do the will of the Father. That's why Jesus said, no other coming, Lord, 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 will enter the kingdom of God, but those that do the will of my Father. And let me tell you the very first thing that is the will of God, that you accept His only begotten Son as your Lord and Savior. If you don't do that, no matter how good you are in this world, you have no afterlife with the Lord. Jesus is God's representation. And if you don't accept Him as He came, as God instructed, you have missed the very first vital will of God. And I want to tell you today, if you have not accepted Christ as your Lord and you think you're good, you are on your way to hell. So what you need to do right now is to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. And then you'll be sure of a better afterlife. God bless you. Thank you so much. Shalom.